Hey, Bob Adams here, Radiant Fellowship, Wapaka, Wisconsin, and here I am on my first off-the-cuff podcast for YouTube, and uh, I'm in my garage right now at my workstation, and this is where I kind of come to go to unwind and think about things, and since it's a rainy day, i got a couple minutes here to uh, work on something I've been needing to do, um, but it's my place. i got my toolbox over there, my motorcycle here, and uh, just kind of a neat place, but... You know, today was an interesting day on Facebook because uh, those that know me know I'm not by any means and never will claim to be a health guru. Um, don't know a whole lot about it. I love my Dairy Queen. I love my blizzards. But after I stepped on the scale a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago, and saw that I'm 30 pounds more than I uh, was when I graduated, I'm like, there is something going on here that I need to fix. So I went to this store. It's called Complete Nutrition. And um, uh, I'm not plugging them or anything because... Uh, they've already got the plug on my Facebook page, but they are a good place to go. And they provide with some good natural supplements and vitamins and things like that that really got me on the right track. And I'm thankful for that. Um, and you know what's interesting is that throughout Christianity, there's um, it's always seemed to be okay to, to go with the Shackleys and other Christian-based vitamin things. But I've always been amazed that uh, those that are in the... Um, mental health, health wellness uh, fields, they always seem to catch a bad rap when they prescribe something for depression or anger or things like that. Because I remember serving under a pastor once that always made the congregation say, I'm too blessed to be depressed. Well, you know what? Job called and he disagrees. <laughs> and, um, you know, I, I was thinking about it. Why are we so okay with things like vitamins and stuff like that and not okay with the medical uh, side of helping people with depression by prescribing a pill and uh, helping their um, uh, imbalances get back in place again with their brain and stuff. I think that's something that we ought to explore. It's something that we ought to think about. There are a lot of people that would agree with me, a lot that would disagree. And to some of you that are watching this, you're like, really? There's pastors out there like that? There's Christians out there like that that uh, talk ill against these sort of things? Yeah, sadly. But you know, it really comes down to, can God use a doctor? Can God use scientists? Absolutely. In fact, science, science is one of Christianity's biggest friends right now. And so if God's given doctors a gift, God's given doctors a brain and all these things, then I think we need to get off our high horse of saying, God, heal me the miraculous healing and keep searching for the miraculous healing and say, God, maybe my answer is in a doctor. Maybe my answer is in... Um, something that they can prescribe to me that you've given them the knowledge and the know-how to make. And that can be an answer to prayer. No different than somebody that needs a financial breakthrough and praying for it and they're relying on some other Christian to answer that prayer. Hey, this is my idea. This is my thought. This is what the podcast is about. Some scripture, some theology, a whole lot of opinions. So uh, feel free to put your, your questions down on the YouTube page or uh, email me, info at radiantfellowship.net. Till later, bye.